Hello, my name is Sinead and I'm an artist from Belfast. Today I'm going to talk to you about abstract art. You might recognise some of these abstract paintings. They're by very famous artists. I'm going to talk to you about this artist in particular. Her name was Hilma af Klint. Hilma af Klint made very large abstract paintings. Abstract painting is art which does not try to represent people or objects as they are, but instead uses colour and shapes to create paintings. Abstract painting can include lines and marks that may or may not have a special meaning. Hilma af Klint was one of the very first artists to use abstract techniques, but she has not been widely recognised. Hilma was a very spiritual person, and this is what informed her painting. To make your abstract pictures, you will need something to draw on, something to draw with, felt tips, crayons, paints even, or chalks. It's up to you. Sometimes it helps to select just a few colours rather than using all of the colours that you have. To make this picture, my helper started by using a technique called taking your pencil for a walk. You might have done this before yourself. Just let the pencil guide itself around the page. Don't worry too much about where it's going initially. After a little bit of time has passed, you'll start to see that you can make different shapes and patterns. My helper has used a very light colour to begin with because she didn't want this to show through too much, but you can use whatever you want. If you'd like to choose a darker line, then that's fine too. Once you have a design that you're happy with, then you can start to colour in. This artist decided to use just four colours and they've mixed their mediums. This means they've used two different types of material. They've used colouring crayons and felt tips. They carefully considered where each colour should go. Here's their final result. Notice they haven't coloured in the whole page, but have left some parts white. Here's a different technique that I tried. I've used tracing paper and special felt tip pens, but any felt tip pens will do. I started to doodle in the corner, drawing little circle shapes and colouring them in. I've added to these by trying different shapes and different colours. I continued to add different shapes and colours until I was happy with my result. I took my inspiration from Hilma of Clint. Can you see the similarities? Have fun making abstract art. Remember, You can take inspiration from any of the abstract artists.